everyone, how are we? Hopefully you've had a great week um, and you're getting everything on track. I know some of the schools in different states have got different term times, so we've got some people starting fairly soon. So hopefully um, you've managed to get in your mentor teacher meetings already. If you haven't managed to get your teacher mentor teacher meetings, um, can you try and get onto that as soon as possible. Because now that you've set your goals, it's really important that we build onto um, sharing those goals with your mentor teachers for this placement so that they know what you want to achieve and how they can contribute to helping you achieve that. So um, if you're having any problems organizing your mentor teacher meeting, can you let me know? and um, I'll chat through that with you and we'll see what we can come up with together to try and get that rolling. Um, if you have had meetings with your mentor teacher, always great to let me know how they're going. Um, I might actually put up a little thread on there where we can chat about our mentor teacher meetings and how they're going on the discussion board. I'll put that up. What I'm doing is I've put some pinned um, threads up there so you've got important messages from the ELA thread. You've got about the transitioning from portfolio communities to a Word doc thread, and you've got the Padlets. Now the Padlets are really important because I'm going to use them for sharing resources. So I saw Laura, fantastic Laura. I am, you are a star, you've managed to get on there and put some stuff up there already, which is great. I'm going to keep putting more of those Padlets up there for sharing resources and I want you to have a go. Don't be scared, you're not gonna destroy them, they're all going to be fine. If something goes wrong, just email me and I'll fix it. And um, But they're really easy and they're really easily accessible on Padlet. So, and I've opened them up so anyone can just put all their resources on there. And that way we can share, we've got pools of resources that are easily accessible, especially when you're on Pratt. You can just click on there. So if we've got, at the moment, we've got some ICT resources because I noticed well, there aren't many up there because no one's put them up there, but you can do that. <laughs> um, so um, well, if you need them, then when you get on your prac, you can just click on that Padlet and there are all these resources that we've all worked on together and the Padlets will be available after the prac as well for your next prac and for when you're a teacher or when you're a leave teaching. And so that's what I'm trying to build up there. Uh, so have a go. Um, just if you're having problems, ask me or Laura because she's managed to do it perfectly. And um, we will be able to get you through on there. It's really simple. It's just an easy process of putting them. And if you want more topics or something you would like to see up there as a resource topic, let me know, send me an email or put it on one of the discussion boards, which I'm still trying to get through and follow what's going on. Um, yeah, and I will get those up there for you. So, jotting down notes. Um, we've also had a lot of asking about badges, people who need new name badges, people who don't have name badges. At the moment, Swinburne Online or Swinburne's whole uni has um, just changed over badge providers and they haven't got one at the moment. So um, hopefully you've got your last badge, but those people who don't have their badge, just keep it with me and I will let you know as soon as we get um, a provider that we're happy with using and we'll get on to getting your new badge. Uh, right, the assignments are due in this afternoon. I have seen some fantastic people, I've been looking through the assignments that have come in early and really happy with a lot of the goal setting. Try to make sure you're making the goals relatable clearly to the graduate standards so I can see where they come in in the graduate standards. You've got really good ideas for exactly how, the steps you're going to have to achieve them. So look at that SMART Goals 2.6 activity. Try and utilise that as much as you can in these goals. Because if you've done that, if you started making the steps of how you're going to make it achievable, then when you get to taking it out on prac, you will already have the resources and the things you need to be able, because you've planned it, to achieve it, you will have small steps so that you can feel successful, even if it's only a little bit successful and you're on your way, but at least you know you're on your way and you're not just in there, oh no. So um, yeah, just 
keep that up and also it's really important because then you can share that with your mentor teacher the other part is our next one is um, creating units of work which is really important that you share that assignment with your mentor teacher at the meeting the startup meeting as well because at that meeting you can discuss how that is going to fit in we have people with Montessori background Montessori classrooms they're going into and um, inclusion classrooms they're going into and different types and of course you're going to have to alter those programs for the different types of classrooms you're going into because I mean, a literacy one fit literacy program isn't going to fit into like whole groups in every situation if there's a team teaching approach it's really important that it's integrated into what they as a team of teachers have already decided to do so you're not coming in there and imposing your assignment on them what you want to do is help them work out how they can fit your assignment in there into what they have pre-planned and their situation okay if that's not making sense can you email me or let me know and I will get in and um, discuss that with you but it's really important that we're really flexible with that assignment but it's also allowing you to plan literacy units and numeracy units because you do need practical before you get out into a classroom you need to be able to practically do that and understand how children are going to take it in and understand how you can structure that and what resources will work and what resources won't work and how you can do differentiation and everything else within that program okay hopefully that makes sense to you if it is not making sense to you just let me know and I'm happy to go through that with you a bit more um, yeah and with the reflective practice we had a lot of people last week discussing how they have these expectations of a mentor teacher giving them feedback and how they're going to do that it is really important that you remember from your last prac how busy classrooms are and how chaotic they are and how at the end of the day you sit there and go oh my gosh and be totally drained so <laughs> um, if you decide you're going to do mentor feedback every day um, and you haven't got plan B it could come into a brick wall problem so it is really important when you're thinking about this think about how are you going to structure it what is your plan B what if um, your teacher needs to rush off after school what if there's a staff meeting and you never get to do it um, a really good way I've seen happen is using Google Docs or something like that where you can write you could put your lesson or you could get your teacher ask your teacher if she can fill that in regularly because then even if they've just jotted notes down they don't get a chance to talk about it they can put the notes up into the Google Doc and you can see them or shared Google file or something like that and then you can see them and understand and question even write questions there while you're thinking about them and then she's getting them or he's getting them in real time and that way um, it gives you a bit more flexibility than like straight after class or straight after recess or straight after lunch or in dot time because often and you're in term two so teachers will be on to reports um, in most states it is absolutely crazy and things always going on and you know that from your last prep because you've seen it in first hand so yeah make sure that you do have a plan B for how you're going to um, get that feedback and also when it's written like that it's so easy to access when you're coming to doing your portfolio and looking for how you can get evidence for the different standards okay I think that is all I have to say at the moment um, yeah I can't wait to see you post on Padlets uh, Laura I, high, five, high five thank you for doing that I really appreciate it, it made me realize it is working and it's, it's all doable because I've never tried this before um, and hopefully I'll have a whole lot of other people I can mention in the next video okay have a fabulous week and um, we will chat soon okay bye